What's happening, folks, and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM20 series where we look at some of the players on Football Manager 2020 and we see how they get on across their careers. And every player that is now done on this series is a subscriber slash viewer request. So um, we've got a lot of quests coming in uh, recently, maybe some more that I've not even checked yet. Um, so bear that in mind, guys, that if you make a request now, your request may be a while to get to get to it. It's not a daily series. Um, just because of the amount of time it takes to do these v- reviews, I like to have a bit of a time just to get through a few. So yeah. So yeah. Um, if you may, if you may, if you made a suggestion in the last last couple of days, which is on the twelfth of May, I'm making this video. Um, I will get through as quick as I can. I usually try and reply to you when I've said you've done your players, so to give you an idea. So I do. I'm working on them, guys, but. It takes a while to get these done. Um, but you've got a lot of requests. So but be, I hope you pay, please be patient. And rest assured I will let you know when and um, when I have done your, your, your request. So yeah. So this guy, I believe, if I remember correctly from all the comments, I had to fill f- f- them all, was a player that the, the subscriber who suggested him said he'd used him himself and wanted to see how he gets on without his input. So it's Luz- Lorenzo Gavioli. Um, Javiol, Gavioli, I'm thinking that's how I'd say it anyway. And semi fielder slash RM who's got um 11 and 10 across the board. Um, obviously, the uh, room 13 there, and you know, and occasional 12s as well. Uh, no player trait, semi fielder on loan from Inter Milan, 190k Italian. So, obviously, cap signing first season because obviously that is on loan there. Is the earliest crossing contract? Nope, there isn't. So Let's go forward to the first jump and see how he gets on um, in the first four or five years. So, folks, he's moved to Sydney FC and we've not seen much increase at all on him. Um, and he's basically exactly the same. The physical has gone up a little bit uh, due to the 14. Um, his injury proneness is pretty good, um, to be honest with you. And um, he went on loan to Ravina, Rav- Rav- Ravina, then a free transfer to Sydney. Where basically he's not done a lot. Three goals, five assists though in Serie C slash B. Then Land didn't use him that much. Then he went to Sydney FC and got three goals, three assists, and then one and two. So um not developed massively um on my again, I don't have access to the information that you guys may have um in the scouting reports or um anything like that. I would be willing to go and look at the sensibility numbers, but I think that kind of spoils it because you don't get that number in the game. Um, so yeah, um, again, I think it's a simple matter of this is a player that the game doesn't really rate, but maybe this guy is. I, I reckon this player and the guy who made, made this suggestion can maybe say this he's got a lot of p- possible potential and you need to really work on him again. You know, that's something that maybe you guys can get more information on immediately. So yeah, um. Again, as you know, guys, the rule is I do it one run through, so I don't know what's going to happen next, uh, or I don't pick the best version of these guys. I would do the straight one, straight one version run through. So next jump. So, folks, we're going to end it here because for some reason he's just not developed um, on this save particularly. But I want, I, like I said, it's a series about requests, and you want you guys to get involved in that. So, yeah, he's not worked out much for me and the good news is he's not that injury prone so it's not that's not the reason i think maybe it's just a simple matter of again like we've said the users do better um with um the player than the game has done um so yeah um let's look at his stats since he went to the fc when we went to Serie A, and again they didn't play him rona didn't play him spal didn't play him so and then they actually played a bit more here and got two goals. So I think I think generally it's down to the fact they're not being he played forty games there, got three goals, five assists in that division, and they're not being played enough. Um rather from maybe seeing FC played them a lot in the Hyundai, Hyundai League. So again, um I think this is down to this you know, like I said, I've always said before on these videos, I said quite a few times, the game can't compensate for our own ability to develop a player. And I think this is one of those occasions. So if you guys have used this guy, let me know in the comment section how he got on for you. But yeah, this one's not really worked out, has it really? Um, but that's the way it is. I don't want... If I made every video, make every guy look amazing, you'd say, well, dudes, I we've all signed him. He's been trash. So 
Um, I just want to be, be open honest with you. It's one run through. I don't do anything other than just load the game in the sim. Um, only, the only way I would, I would restart it would be in the first year, of the first simulation. Let's say if we go back to the history here. Let's say down here in the early part here, like the 19, 20, 20, 19, he got like two big injuries. I might restart it then to see if that's a thing and that continues. If it does, then it's a thing about his injury proneness. So that's the only reason I would restart it is if I have day one, he had like three massive six month injuries or three months, you know, two massive injuries um, for like six months or something like that in the first three years, I would maybe then consider restarting. But then again, I would still say, okay, guys, I've done a second run through. First time he had injuries, this time he didn't. So that's, you know, so I'll be honest with you. So yeah, uh, next player. On the list is Javi Simon, I think, is the player. Another subscriber, another subscriber suggested player. I will see you next episode for that. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below, and I'll see you for more. If you've got a suggestion for a player, feel free to leave his name down below with as much info as possible, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. With, I'll usually send a comment to say, say I acknowledge your player. Then I'll send you a request and message to say that I have see I have done your player and you'll be live on a certain date. So yeah, thanks for watching folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.